Good afternoon. Thank you for watching. Let's take a look at the first chapter of Nick Fury's Recon Initiative. If you've been around the contest long enough, you've seen something like this before. There are periodic introductions of event quests, chapters, or levels that you can complete. Generally, there's different difficulty levels, and you get rewarded with some sort of in-game currency to get some usually pretty good items. Um, and there are some pretty good ones on the docket this go-round. So here's a look at the epic mode. You can see there's five fights uh, on the way to the boss. There's two paths, so you'll have to play it twice. Um, the boss in every level is Ultron. In the epic mode difficulty, you can see his buffs are enhanced armor up, tyranny, so no power gain basically, uh, arc overload, and basically a bunch of health and attack. So let's give this guy a go. Now Gamora, Gamora just got her buff, which so far I really like. I was originally quite disappointed in pulling her as a six star, but actually now I'm not so disappointed. So the main thing here is Ultron's got that arc overload, so he's got a ton of health to begin with, plus he regains a ton of it every, what, 20 or 30 seconds, whatever it is. Um, tricky thing about Ultron, of course, is he does that evade every 7 seconds. Now for me, for a short fight with Ultron, it's easy enough, I can usually keep track of when that evade's gonna happen, uh, but man, after about 30 or 40 seconds, I've completely lost track of it, so at that point I usually... I go in for one hit. If I don't get the evade, I usually hit three or four. I pretty much never go for the full five hit if I know that if I don't know when the evade's coming, because inevitably he'll get you on the last one and, and thump you after that. Um, Gamora. So the update on Gamora. Um, interesting. She gets furies and cruelties uh, at a certain percentage per light attack. I think light attacks give you furies, and then medium attacks give you cruelties. And then if you need to refresh those buffs, you can hit them with the heavy like that and when the timers start over. And I believe the longer you fight, the longer they last anyway. So that's that's actually pretty cool. So you can see I get mine up pretty good here. It's uh, five Furies, three Cruelties right there. Um, kind of playing around with, uh, okay, when he's got his regen coming, I kind of wait and try to parry. There we go. Um, pretty good timing there. I got to refresh my buffs. So you really just wear this guy down. Um, it's tough. Like I said, he's got a lot of health plus that arc overload. Um, Gamora would do... The, the new Gamora would do the trick, I, as you'll see here. Um, another good champ for this might be Star-Lord if you have him and have him duped. Um, gosh, you're looking for strictly Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy. So, boy, hopefully you've got the right ones to get through it if you're going to try the epic bubble. Uh, lost my buffs back there, unfortunately. I still gotta get the hang of that, but man, I really think once you get, once you get recharging those buffs down and hitting heavies when you need them, I bet, I bet she turns into a pretty good champ. So I'm, I'm pretty excited actually about this. Um, don't have her duped. I think she's just firing without it. I'm sure it takes, takes her to the next level, but I'm perfectly okay with her how she is actually right now. Got another arc overload coming. Ooh, getting close on health. Yeah, he's probably gonna get this one all the way. So a little over 100 hits. Um, I've heard it done in actually quite a bit fewer hits than that. I I, I don't have any buffs turned on. I, I don't run suicides. And so this is just kind of straight fighting with my normal masteries. And this should take care of him here. Parry. Yeah, here we go. So 132 hits. Not too bad. Um, again, really impressed with Gamora. I'm glad with the buffs they gave her very well. So the basics of these quests are, there's five fights on each path, there's no links, so they should be about the same difficulty. Do whichever difficulty you feel comfortable with, um, and if you can get to Epic, great, you'll score some sweet bundles of uh, five-star shards, and get that intel, because there's some pretty sweet stuff on the uh, intel menu this month. So anyway, I appreciate you guys, thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, share this with your alliances if you feel like it's something that they could use too. See you guys, bye.